I can't believe how beautiful this place is. It's so different than where I live. I'm up pretty high. I just passed a sign that said it was 4,000 feet, and I think it goes up to around 5,000. I'm a little concerned. I think I have another five miles to go. I swear I stop every mile. We started today, but we're still in a headwind. It's so quiet out here. It's amazing. It's gonna be a good day. Looks like a mostly clear sky out there. It's just cold right here. Pennsylvania. I am on a, about a 700 mile bicycle tour. Okay. Basically came down the coast to Florence and came across here. Now, you know, I'm starting to go up towards the Dalles. Yeah. Where did you start? There. Started in Portland. Okay. Awesome. Well, I had a guy pick me up. Yeah. And uh, I stayed in, he lives in uh, St. Helens. So, uh, okay. And then he took me out to Seaside. So I saved a couple days yeah, yeah, yeah. by doing that. He hosted me. This is a typical Oregon wind, but it's going the opposite direction. We got a south wind this, instead of tailwind, so that's our luck. Came up about a three mile climb. So I, I think that's going to uh, pretty much prepare us for the mountains, the Cascade Mountains that we'll be going through. Uh, the grades were as high as 11%, I believe. Anyway, anywhere from nine to 11%. So Cliff's still climbing the hill. Well, I made it here to Depot Bay uh, right before a big mountain or hill and uh, it's been a frustrating day with all the wind the headwind which I've been in now for three days and also the dynamics of touring with somebody else I'm so used to doing it on my own and uh, setting my own pace and doing things my way that it makes it a lot more complicated when you're uh, thinking about the other person that you're riding with so it's been a little frustrating today but uh, we'll work it out and keep on going This is the first day I've seen sun in, uh, well, today's the fourth day on the road. And uh, wow, this will change everything. The reflection on the water over there is just so awesome, man. Uh, my day's already starting out good. And uh, trying to make it to Florence today, which will give me about 50 miles. Uh, and I've done just about 20. Phase two of my trip, heading inland. And right now, it's level, but I'll be hitting the mountain soon. It's so quiet out here, it's amazing. There's a stream over there, and it's so, so soothing. I just found it says state campground, it doesn't say I can't camp here, so there's bathrooms. Today was just incredible. 
I mean, there are these, I don't know if you can see them as I, as I go around, but there were these like incredibly tall trees uh, and these mountain passes remind me of like, you know, somewhere in, in uh, Switzerland. I don't know. <laughs> Not that drastic, but I mean, it was just amazing today. I can't believe how beautiful this place is. It's so different than where I live. Well, I guess you could say I'm definitely in the mountains. Um, the worst part of my day is the blasted traffic. There's not much shoulder on this Highway 126. Um, I've ridden, uh, working on 50 miles today, and uh, I'm hoping I can uh, find a campground near uh, Mackenzie Bridge, a town near my turnoff. Uh, tomorrow, starting with the 17 mile climb I was talking about earlier. That's it. There's big mountains around here. I'll be there. Found my spot. Found a campground here, just outside of Mackenzie Bridge. Man, I got free Wi-Fi, place for a shower, a nice camping spot, electric to charge up my things. It's like all for 22 bucks. Pretty happy about that get rested up and ready for tomorrow. Morning everyone. Just packing up this morning. Uh, I woke up shivering last night. <laughs> it was uh, it was so cold uh, even in my sleeping bag and I had like clothes on <laughs> but uh, I layered up and uh, I, I have a sterno can so I just lit that and that warmed my tent up enough just to get me through this morning or just so I could put some layers on. Uh, I'd say the temperature's close to 40 degrees. I mean, it's just crazy. I have uh, three layers, three or four layers on this morning. Got my orange beacon on so uh, everyone can see me. It's gonna be a good day. Looks like a mostly clear sky out there. It's just cold right here, so. This hill is every bit as hard as I thought it would be. Um, it just keeps going up and up. Uh, I'm getting up towards the lava area, I think. Uh, this is on Mackenzie Pass, in case you were wondering. I'm up pretty high. I just passed a sign that said it was 4,000 feet, and I think it goes up to around 5,000, somewhere like that. So I swear I stop every mile, <laughs> and I, I have like 24 ounces of water. So I'm a little concerned. I think I have another five miles to go, just to the top. So, beautiful here. Wish you were here. See that road down there? I went all the way there. I can't, the sun's there, you can't see the view. The road comes over here, comes up over here. So, time to move on. This is a historical place, a historical marker. I'm gonna see if I can give you a history lesson. This was an old trail uh, that was an Indian trail. And uh, this guy, Felix Scott, took 50 men up here to uh, make a, a trail that could uh, bring uh, trade with wagons through this area. They later on made 
another road, which was the, the main road around what they're using now. I don't know if that's a very good history lesson, but anyway, guy's name's Felix Scott, and that was uh, 1862 when he, he took 50 men up here and uh, blazed a trail here and uh, created a trade over the mountain. Well, we're in the lava fields. I'm not sure, but that's part of the sisters, the three sisters mountains. Uh, but this stuff's pretty amazing. Uh, lava everywhere. so vast around here, it's amazing. Also, the road is incredibly busy for being out here in the remote area. And then you got motorhomes with people like that that don't want to give you any room. I'm riding through long, long climbs. center there it's actually smoke and I know this because I can smell it you can actually see some flames right there and uh, I just passed a bunch of uh, fire trucks some people that are just watching it, I guess they're trying to assess how they're going to fight it. Also, I hear a plane in the air. It looks like it's doing some reconnaissance. That's what I've been smelling. Looking around you and thinking it's okay. Forgetting about the things that you did yesterday. So many problems you face. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> walk that away. Stay your track. Walk to back. Stay on track. Walk to back. I'm uh riding up a slight grade and I can see what I think is Mount Hood directly in front of me. It's hazy. To my right, it's like a field of dry grass and it's this beautiful yellow. And in the background are these mountains. It's like a ridge line of 
mountains. I wish I could take a picture and but it's so wide and vast I can't quite show that in a way that you could appreciate it. That's it for now. Stay your track. Watch your back. Well, here I am at Cascade Locks. This is the end of my ride. Uh, Cliff Multanen's coming to pick me up. Uh, it's been real generous about that. Uh, Would have gone farther today, but it just didn't work out in the plans. So uh, I fly out Monday. That gives me Sunday to get everything together for shipping my bike back. So I uh, feel a little melancholy. It's been a incredible experience with all of the incredible views. Today, I mean, it's just so hard to take a picture because it's so vast. You know, it's how these trips go, you know, you sort of, it's, it stays in your memory and you, you just take it with you that way. But it's been a lot of fun having you guys uh, follow my trip along. I really enjoyed all the encouragement. Uh, so this is it. We'll see you when I get home.